Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the sun under the main headline of Zelensky says 16,000 Russians dead as humiliated Putin. Faces. Defeat. In Kyiv. Summary of headline article. President Zelensky has said 16,000 Russian troops have been killed so far in Ukraine as his soldiers fight to retake the first city that Putin seized. But a U.S. defense official said Russian control in the strategic city appeared to be waning as Ukrainian troops fight back. We can't corroborate exactly who is in control of Kherson but the point is it doesn't appear to be as solidly in Russian control as it was before. They added that if Ukraine did regain control, Russian troops around Mykolaiv would end up sandwiched between defense forces. As the fighting takes its toll on Russian troops, stories are beginning to emerge of anger and plummeting morale. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Inside Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins Long. Battle with Drug Abuse. Summary of Headline Article. FU Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins had been open about his long-standing battle with drug abuse. Prior to his death, the 50-year-old was playing on the South American leg of the band's world tour when his sudden death was announced on Saturday. In 2001, Hawkins wound up in a coma for around a week following a heroin overdose in London. In the same interview, the musician later revealed how his passion for mountain biking had helped him to stop his drug issues from spiraling. On Saturday, a tweet from the band's official Twitter account said, The Foo Fighters family is devastated by the tragic and untimely loss of our beloved Taylor. Hawkins. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. U.S. offers Ukraine further military support as Lviv hit by missile strikes. Live. Summary of headline article. 1735 Russia's defense ministry said on Friday that the first phase of its military operation was generally complete saying the country will focus on the liberation of Ukraine's eastern Donbas region. The defense ministry stated Russian-backed separatists now controlled 93% of Luhansk and 54% of Donetsk, the self-proclaimed republics in Ukraine's east. The main objectives of the first stage of the operation have generally been accomplished, Sergei Rudskoy. The head of the Russian General Staff's main operational directorate said during a briefing. In Friday's announcement, Russia also appeared to hint that Moscow's invasion of Ukraine may be turning to more limited objectives, adding that the main goal of the operation was the liberation of the Donbas. The Russian president, Vladimir Putin, earlier said that the denazification of the Ukrainian leadership, generally understood as regime change, was the main motivation for the invasion. From Evening Standard under the main headline of thousands protest against Russian invasion of Ukraine in central London. Summary of headline article. T. Housens joined a march in support of Ukraine on Saturday in central London as Mayor Sadiq Khan urged the UK to do much more to help Ukrainian refugees. Speaking ahead of the demo, Mr. Khan said he was there to condemn Russia's barbaric aggression. REUTERSA number of speeches from Mr. Khan. Ukrainian politicians and European leaders are expected to be made later on between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. In addition, the mayor is providing £50,000 funding to match donations for the Here for Good Ukraine advice project. The total funding will improve and expand access to immigration advice through the Frontline Immigration Advice Programme led by Refugee Action and the Justice Together Initiative. 
from The Independent under the main headline of protests at UK ports is calls grow for P&O ferries. Boss to quit over mass sackings. Summary of headline article. Protests are taking place at UK ports over sacking of ATP and O ferries seafarers. As calls grow for the company's boss to quit. Protesters gathered in Liverpool, Dover and Hull on Saturday as the RMT union urged a stop to what it called the P&O jobs massacre. The demonstrations come after a ship operated by the ferry firm was detained for being unfit to sail. On Friday, hundreds march in a demonstration against P&O ferries mass sacking. P.A. Demonstrators chanted, P&O. Shame on you, as they marched along a street in Liverpool on Saturday. With more than 100 turning out. According to the RMT. The P&O ferries operated European causeway vessel in dock at the port of Larn. Co Antrim. Where it has been detained by authorities for being unfit to sail. From BBC under the main headline of China plane crash. All 132 passengers and crew dead. Officials confirm. Summary of headline article. The first black box was recovered on Wednesday and has been sent to Beijing to be inspected by experts. Reuters said. That one is believed to contain the cockpit voice recorder. From iNews under the main headline of Prince William says the UK would support bid by Belize. Jamaica and Bahamas to become republics. Summary of headline article. Prince William has implied the UK would support Caribbean countries Bahamas. Belize and Jamaica if they opted to become republics. During the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's tour of the Caribbean. William said at a reception in the Bahamas capital Nassau that the UK would respect whatever decision the countries made about their own futures. William said at the reception. Next year. I know you are all looking forward to celebrating 50 years of independence. Your golden anniversary. The Cambridge's tour of the Caribbean. Intended to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee has been met with criticism and protests in the region in part due to the royal family's ties to the slave trade. Prince William expressed profound sorrow for the abhorrent slave trade but didn't apologize for his family's involvement. From Mail Online under the main headline of Swatch closes London shops after just 30 minutes as hundreds queued. Summary of headline article pictured. Swatch in Carnaby Street, London, was forced to close their doors early after crowds got out of control. Police have closed all London. Swatch watch stores due to chaotic scenes when they opened to the public on the first day of the launch of the Moon Swatch collection. The Swatch shop in the capital's Carnaby Street had warned customers to get there early in expectation of large queues. My London reports that a spokesperson for Swatch said, Swatch has closed its London stores for health and safety measures. We are very sorry but due to unprecedented health and safety reasons. We have had to close our Covent Garden, Carnaby Street and Oxford Street stores. The frenzied shopping has been sparked by the release of the budget Moon Swatch, a long-awaited collaboration between Swatch and Omega. From the Independent under the main headline of Russian Defense Minister resurfaces after disappearing from public view for two weeks. Summary of headline article. A Russian defense minister who seemingly disappeared from the public eye two weeks ago has resurfaced. Questions had been raised surrounding his whereabouts with varying reports suggesting the 66-year-old was suffering health issues and that he had fallen out with Russian President Vladimir Putin with rumors of a rift between the pair. Kremlin refuted the claims on Thursday saying the defense minister had a lot on his plate right and 
now is really not the time for media activity. It insisted Mr. Shoigu has been present in a Security Council meeting with Mr. Putin. With a video later released purporting to prove it. The minister was briefly visible on a split screen of Russian officials displayed in front of the president although doubts quickly cast over its veracity. From iNews under the main headline of Biden tells Poland, your freedom is ours as US says it will defend against attacks by Russia. Summary of headline article. Although times are very difficult. Today Polish-American relations are flourishing, Mr. Duda said. I'm confident that Vladimir Putin was counting on dividing NATO, Mr. Biden said about the Russian president. We've all stayed together. With the war entering its second month. European security is facing its most serious test since World War II. Mr. Biden spoke with refugees and Mayor Rafal Truskovsky. Mr. Biden previewed his closing speech during appearances on Friday in Ruschau, southeastern Poland. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.